starting off with my skirt steak hash. I coat skirt steak in a bold chili espresso rub. Grill until it's perfectly tender, then slice it up on a bias and serve over a hash of potatoes, sweet peppers, onions, and asparagus. Now to serve with that, I'll make a roasted red bell pepper hollandaise. It's creamy and slightly smoky, and hollandaise has never been so foolproof. You had to get the fire ready, and this is a key thing to me, is roasting red bell peppers to make this hollandaise. Now, a lot of people, you see them take the bell pepper, hit some oil on it, throw it on the burner, and that'll work on a nice little char. But two things I find. One, I find that it sometimes burns through, and then you eat up a bunch of the flesh of the pepper, which then you don't get as much. And the other thing, it's inconsistent. Consistent. So you'll find like these parts of the pepper that didn't get the direct flame, they don't peel as easy. And then sometimes you find the peel being incorporated into the sauce. I'll show you the way that I like to do it. It takes a little bit longer. Get yourself some cast iron, take your peppers, go into a pretty hot oven. Don't have a wood-fired oven, doesn't matter. Go around 350, 400 degrees, slide it right in. These are gonna brown up. Then, we'll, then we're gonna wrap them, let them steam themselves, and take off the skins, okay? So letting this set out for a little room temperature uh, setup, and let's get some uh, dry rub going. Now let's talk about the dry rub. What is it like? Of course, fresh cracked black pepper. We'll get a little bit of onion powder. You can make your own dry rub that you like. Mustard powder, like a little bit of that tang there. Some chili powder. Now, this you could go real far with, but I don't want it to take the lead role. I just want it to play along nice with others. And a little granulated garlic. A little dried oregano. Brown sugar. Of course, that's nice on it. And a little instant espresso. Now, this is the real key. You think coffee and beef? Absolutely. And the last thing is some salt. Pinch more, give it a little stir. Liberally sprinkle this across, give it a flip. There we go. Okay. So, there we go. Well, that's it. Wash up real quick. Get that grill as hot as you can, sear it off. When I flip them, when I go to move them, I'm going to move them to the other side of the grill. And the reason that I want to move them to the other side of the grill is because it's going to cool down a little bit. So don't, when you're flipping the steak, don't put it in the exact same spot it was. Skirt steak off. We'll just let this rest over here to the side. OK? All right, bring this over. Cast iron skillet. If you want to talk about one pan that I own a bunch of, I own probably 15 cast iron skillets in every size, shape, and form. It takes a little longer to heat up, but talk about nice, round, even heat, and you could do anything with it. You could take it camping, you could put it right in the fire, you could take it to the wood-fired oven, does it all. You could fry in it, you name it. Okay, let's talk, let's talk about what I'm gonna do with it. The hash. I'm a big fan of hash. I mean, corned beef hash, when I go to a restaurant uh, for breakfast, is a go-to. And the first thing I say is, do you make it, is it in a can or not? So if they make it, they gotta make it with the right principles. And that's how I did this dish. Small dice on the potato, small dice on the veg, a little oil liberally into this pan. There's going to be a lot going on in here. Start dropping these in, see if we're hot. OK, got to make sure that we're hot. There we go. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time chasing these little ends of the potato around. There we go. Give it a little stir. Here's the key. Coat this with some oil and don't mess with it. Now, if you've got a lot of potatoes going on in here, here's one of my recommendations. Put a cover on it. Let some of that steam help cook through those potatoes. But what we want to, what we want to have happen here is we want this hash, we want the potato to actually have form and actually have color and not just get all mushed up because you're moving around too much. OK? There we go. A little touch of S&P. Season as we go, you right? OK, last but not least, let me get this onion in here. Hash doesn't get enough respect at dinner time. You look at where hash came from. Well, it came from the idea that you'd had dinner and you have all these leftovers. What worked great? Anything. I mean, maybe not throwing the pasta in there, but trust me, you had squash, throw it in there. You got potatoes, throw it in there. You know you've got some onions and everything left over laying around, get those in there as well. But the great thing is the protein. You might have some leftover prime rib that's a little dried out. It's perfect. It can all go in hash, and hash can go to dinner. Look at that. And now with some red bell pepper and some green bell pepper. So look at that. 
Nice peppers and onions. You know how to make hollandaise. I'm gonna kind of make speed hollandaise here. I usually do this by hand, but I'm trying to be real efficient with it. Okay, last one. This isn't going good. This one is gonna go by hand. Okay, so watch. Lightly with my hands. Let it go, roll it back and forth, hope it doesn't break. It's all over my bling, oh, that's gnarly. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, into the blender. Doesn't have to be a super high powered one, but we'll dump that in. Pinch of some salt. Touch the paprika. And I like mine a little bit spicier. A little extra on the cayenne. Go. Little look away there, just make sure no one's paying attention. People see you put that much pepper in there, they get all freaked out, and then it's already gonna be hot. Just to, oh look, pretty bird. And then that's when you hit it. Okay. Put that out of the way. Give this a stir. See how I'm not stirring it a bunch when it comes to the hash? See how I'm throwing it on the floor? See how I'm not stirring it a bunch? Just let it flip over so I can get that nice crust like that. That's what I'm looking for. And I still got to put garlic in there, but I'm not putting it in yet because the peppers are still so firm, they haven't had a chance to sweat yet, that if I put the garlic in, there's a chance it can burn. Okay, back to this. All right, so everything's in here. Now, last thing I need is a little bit of lemon juice. Really plump lemon, so I'm gonna get a bunch of juice out of that. Throw it off to the side. Now, a lot of times you see the double boiler. This is my quick and easy way to do it. So I've got the yolks in there. Go on, take this off. Got that melted butter, about a, about a stick of it. So what I'm gonna do here, dial this down, get it on variable, let it start, okay? Let that start to go. Slowly, just like we're making mayo. There we go. Nice and easy so you can create that volume. You hold your arm up in the air like this this long. I want to go double boiler method after this. All right. hot, and I'm making hollandaise, <laughs> okay? All right, you can see the consistency, kind of the way it's building up on the sides there, okay? So we'll turn it down, kick it off. Look at that, nice and thick, okay? So you've basically made a fantastic mayonnaise with butter instead of oil, and now we're gonna kick it up a notch. Thank you, Emerald. Now we're gonna kick it up a notch because I got those roasted red bell peppers that I did in the oven. Look at that, beautiful. Took the majority of the char off of them, the seeds and the skins and the stems. So we give that a little tear. We'll drop this in, back on top. We will put a lid on this one. Get it on. Okay. Now, go in. Nice big chunks of garlic in. Add that into it. Huh? Mmm. Not breakfast skirt steak. This is skirt steak hash for dinner. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. So I got some beautiful hash in here. Lay that skirt steak on top. Mmm. Awesome, and it's all for dinner. Some grilled asparagus that also get mixed into this. Fantastic, a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Let's look at this, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, the asparagus, the garlic, the onions, all of that. Now we'll grab some of the skirt steak that has the nice marinade on it, or the nice dry rub that I put there. We'll get some avocado on top of that. A little green onion. Now, we talked about elevating the flavor. The roasted red bell pepper hollandaise, look at this, when it goes right on. So, made a hollandaise with the butter, the egg yolks, a little touch of the cayenne, and then took the roasted red bell pepper that I did in the wood-fired oven, pureed that into it, so you have this beautiful hollandaise. So we're talking elevated hollandaise. 
You get this, you put it all together. So look at that. That is breakfast taken to the dinner table. I get a little taste of this. There we go. Mmm. Fantastic.